Hey everybody, I'm back on, uh, with another screencast. Um, I recently decided to move over from Mac back to Linux. For the last five years I was using Mac as my primary desktop um, environment and since 1998, I guess before that, or something like that, I was using Linux as my primary environment. So um, I thought I'd share while I'm setting up my Linux box for all the various geospatial things that I do on Linux. Um, I'd share some screencasts showing you how I go about getting things set up. I'm going to just um, like hit the record button and uh, roll, roll as I go so that you can just kind of see um, how I problem solve. And if I get stuck, well, I will get stuck. That's too bad as well. But um, hopefully we'll manage to solve any problems that we encounter. Just kind of show you um, a little bit what I'm thinking as I try to solve the problems that I get trying to set things up as well as how, you know, the actual process I follow. So um, yeah, so I'm going to start off by um, going over to um, my favorite website um, download.qgis.org and um, I'm going to follow the instructions for downloading on Linux, but I'm not actually going to download it. I'm going to kind of use that to bootstrap my um, development environment. My goal of this session is to get a running um, a QGIS build environment. So I want to install all the dependencies that QGIS needs um, to build it um, and then build it myself. Um, so I'm t I've gone to download.qgis.org, which redirects you to this page here. And I'm going to choose Debian and Ubuntu because I am running on this machine Pop OS, which is like um, Ubuntu basically. It's just a rebranded version of Ubuntu. Um, and it's currently tracking the 2004 stable release. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do first is follow the instructions here um, and kind of install um, the, 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 some of the base requirements here and set up the repository that um, QGIS would normally be installed from. Um, um, but I'm going to add the source repository for it as well. Um, and then we'll use that source repository to find out which packages are needed to build QGIS and then go and grab those. So let's dive right in. It's really just a matter of cut and paste. So I'm going to start off by just um, copying a few lines off this page and um, okay. And then I'm going to, it doesn't really matter what directory you're working in at this point. Um, so um, I'm just going to paste in that command there. These are just some commands for you to be able to check the checksums for packages and um, add new um, repositories. I've got a bunch of messages here about um, unneeded packages. I had previously installed the QGIS that comes with Ubuntu, which is QGIS 3.10. Um, and then uninstalled it, and that uh, removing QGIS and a few, probably a few other bits of play, playing around on my software on my install installation have left some sort of messy things. But I'm not going to clean this up yet because some of these packages might be needed by QGIS when I set up the build environment as well. Um, so just going back to the list of things here. So this uh, next section in uh, the instructions is basically going to um, add the QGIS um, signing key to my system so that it knows when it's receiving a signed package and then um, uh, it's going to be adding it into my um, Etsy app trusted directory. So let's go and just run those. Those should run very quickly. Um, okay. And then uh, the next bit is going to be to add the repository. So this won't add the source repository, which I'm going to need as well. So I'll show you what happens if you don't add the source repository um, by first just adding this uh, repository. And this little bit of magic here is just basically figuring out which version of um, uh, Debian or Ubuntu or whatever you, I have on my system. So um, 
I'm going to run that, and I'll run that on its own and show you what that would normally have, um, put out if you run that on its own, like to find out the name of your Ubuntu version. Um, okay, I've got a funny message there as well. But let's just go and run this command quickly first just to show you. Um, so you can see that gives me the, the sort of the version name for my Ubuntu based system, which is Focal Fossa or something like that. Um, so it's basically going to substitute that in the line in the app repository that it adds. Now this line here, it's, it's complaining. Um, and um, I need to figure out why, because that's probably not good. So, um, we go and have a look at the app sources list d folder and see if it actually added something there. Um, um, and it didn't. So then I'm going to look in the sources list file there and I can see it was adding a line there for QGIS Debian and it added a commented outline here for the source packages. I went uncommented yet, but I'll show you what happens if we don't have that um, enabled. So I want to see what are the build dependencies for QGIS. So I'm going to do sudo apt build dep QGIS. Oh, I should first just do an update first. Let me just do... I'll just get an update quickly to make sure it's read all the packages. You can see there it's uh, reading the QGIS repository now from the previous command that we've added. All right, and it's still complaining something about my QGIS repository. Um, I don't know why it's giving that. So if it's still, if I can't figure it out, I'm going to stop the video, go offline, and figure it out come back and tell you when I've figured it out. So um, but let's try to see what happens if we get the QGIS build dependencies at build dep QGIS. Okay, so um, it's only offering that these packages are unrequired, not required. It's not offering any new packages. So I wanted to be installing all the build dependencies. So I'm going to go back and um, edit that um, file that we're looking at just now, just uncomment out this um, this line here, which just tells me where all the source packages are. Again, I'm going to do an update. And then again, I'm going to run that build dep command here, and let's see if we get so it's offering to install some packages now, um, but it still is not looking like everything that we're going to need for the system to build QGIS. So I need to go figure out what that 386 issue is here. So obviously the first thing to do is just to go and Google it. Because I'm going to be asking people, I don't want to waste their time asking them stuff that I could easily find Googling. So I'm just going to go and see what it's about here. Um, and um, a quick scan through this here. And I'm just going to go back to the um, download page here and see if I maybe missed something in the notes. Um, I 
Okay, I'm going to just uh, pause it here. I'm going to go figure it out and then I'll come back online once I've worked it out. Okay, so I did some Googling around and uh, couldn't see a quick solution to that. That usually works for me, but because of something on my system, I guess it's not working. So I've taken another approach, which is um, I've gone over to um, the QGIS GitHub uh, uh, um, project page. And um, thanks for to admire Nia Kudya, my colleague from Cartosa, for suggesting this way. Um, and I've gone to look in the Docker file, which is maintained there. And the Docker file here has been used for doing like uh, automated testing builds and things. So um, in this Docker file, there's also a long list of dependencies that are used for building QGIS. I'm just going to simply copy and paste this list here. It's quite a long list. Um, first, going to get all the um, Debian packages, and then I'll do the pip install afterwards. So I'm going to take that list, and then I'm going to go to my shell here, and put sudo in front of that command, and then paste it. Okay, now you can see there's a decent long list of things that are going to be installed here, including things like um, the C language compiler and um, various other libraries, base libraries, Postgres clients, and all sorts of other things like that. A couple of suggested packages here that we can come and get later if we wanted to. We're just going to let that run and then I'll join you back again when it's finished installing. Okay, so the installation of all those packages completed and um, I'm now ready to get a check out of the code and start building it. So uh, to do that, what I do usually is I make a directory called devcp, dev for development and cpp for c++. So um, just like that and then and then inside this directory I'll, I'll clone, I'll check out the, the QGIS code and I will also make a build directory. So first for the QGIS code part of things I I need to um, have git installed in my system. You can check if you've got git already. Um, if not, it's a simple sudo at uh, install git and that will get it um, for you in your system. Since I already have it, um, it will just give me a message saying it's already there. Um, so you need git and then uh, we need to clone it from, um, from somewhere. So I'm going to go and just uh, um, find the link for the web page for cloning it. Um, all right, so if we go to github.com slash QGIS, slash QGIS, you'll find the code repository for QGIS and the screen button is what we care about here. Now I'm going to check it out using an SSH key and I've already got my GitHub account set up and all my keys provided and all that kind of stuff. So I simply need to copy that little string there um, and then back in the shell we're going to do git clone. Now if you Check out QGIS, you're going to get uh, the entire history of QGIS since the project started back in 2002, and that's going to be quite a lot of uh, code to check out. So um, you might want to do something like this, which will just take, uh, check out a smaller amount of code. I'm going to start this running. Um, so that's the depth minus one, basically, it just says get, get the uh, code at the level of the last commit. 
I'm going to start this running and then cut away and come back once it's checked out because it's uh, going to take a while on my slow internet connection. Okay. Okay, so the checkout is completed and I've got a QGIS directory created in my, um, in my home folder here. And in, if I go inside there, I'll see the source code for QGIS. All right, now um, I want to build the source code into a binary file that I can run. Um, and to do that, I'm going to create a build directory and then go and uh, do some configuration and then start the build running. So I'm going to do, like to just build like this. You can call it anything you like. I just like to give it a nice logical name. And then um, you've got an empty directory here and you're going to do um, a build relative to the QGIS directory, which is one level up. So I'm going to do CMake, which is the command that will generate make files for, for compiling QGIS. And then I'm going to say um, the directory above and QGIS. What it's going to do is going to go look for all the libraries that we need to build QGIS. And because of the first steps that we did at the start of this um, screencast, we'll have everything in place there. When it's finished, it should have a CMake um, cache file. Yeah with all the configuration. So if you want to understand like which GDAL library is being used, or um, for example, here you can see there's GDAL or Google. Uh, it's coming from user lib, uh, lib GDAL and so on. You can see all the configuration options that have been set. And it's all automatically done based on the fact that we've got all the dependencies installed already. All right, and so once you've done that, the next thing is to start building. Now, uh, you want to build uh, as quickly as possible. So if you're on a multi-threaded, multi-core machine, you can use all of your cores or some of your cores to build. So um, uh, if, you, if you just run top, the easiest way to find out how many threads you've got and then press one, you'll see that I've got sort of uh, eight uh, CPU cores that I can build in. Uh, I think there's actually uh, eight threads. Uh, so um, I can go then and say make minus j8. Now the system might become a bit un unresponsive while you're building, but it will start off the build and um, just work through the code base compiling everything. I'm going to cut away again and come back once we've reached 100%. Okay, so we're back. The build completed. It took a little while to build. Um, you can see from the long list of output on the terminal all the different components of QGIS that got built. And at the end of the process, you should see something like this with 100% and target, target QGIS app built. And then we can run it. We don't need to actually install it. We can run it directly by just um, calling the binary that's been placed in the output bin directory. You can see we're on the developer branch, that's why it's showing a different flash, uh, splash screen. These are just some plugins of mine that are missing some uh, components or something. All right, and there's QGIS built from source with the latest version. We can go and have a look um, over here and see uh, this version here. And we can go back to GitHub and see um, what the last change was that, that matches the latest version. So, yep, that's the process of building QGIS from source from the console. Uh, in the next video I make, I'm going to show how we get the same, uh, do the same process, but now we're going to build it from Qt Creator so that we can actually start to make some tweaks and improvements to the code itself. Thanks for watching. Um, uh, we'll be back soon with the second installment.